start. Hello everyone, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to review the Ficom Passion 660, a new mid-range smartphone announced by Ficom. So this device competes with the Xiaomi Mi 4i and it has almost similar specs. It has a 5 inch Full HD display. It's powered by the Snapdragon 615 Octa-Core processor with 2GB RAM and uh, it also has 16GB uh, internal storage which is expandable. Now this uh, comes with 4G LTE support and it runs Android 4 or 4 KitKat uh, with a custom UI and um, it also has a 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a front facing 5 megapixel camera for selfies and video calls. Uh, it has a 2300 mAh battery and it's priced 10 triple nine. So let's go into the detail aspect of this device. So let's first see the design and build quality. So design wise, this is a pretty decent looking device. It is pretty lightweight and has a uh, uniform thickness and this has a metal frame and it's made of magnesium alloy and uh, this has pretty good finishing all around. Uh, but apart from the metallic uh, build, uh, the outer casing is made of plastic and the plastic quality is pretty decent although not the best. Uh, it's a matte finish and you have the Ficom branding, the rear 13 megapixel camera. On the sides you have uh, the power button again with the uh, metallic finishing, you have the dual sim card slot and um, again you have the power button, I mean the volume keys uh, on the left side. On the top you have the 3.5mm audio jack and at the bottom you have the micro USB charging slot. So all in all it's a pretty good uh, device, uh, the build quality is again uh, above average although not the best or uh, comparable with the Mi 4i but it's pretty lightweight that's one good aspect of this device. It's pretty easy to use, it's compact and it's just 5, five inches in size. So that is the design and uh, build quality aspect. Now you also have uh, three capacitive uh, touch buttons but they are not backlit and uh, you also have the front facing camera and the usual set of sensors. Now talking about the display, it has a 5 inch full HD display. It's a uh, uh, 1080p display and the display quality is pretty good. Uh, the colors look uh, pretty good and uh, they are vibrant as well. But it, the display quality is not as vivid as uh, that of the Xiaomi Mi 4i which has a sunlight display. Uh, which uh, is superior to the Ficom Passion 660. The viewing angles are again pretty good. Uh, the touch response is pretty smooth and no lag or issues. Overall, the display is uh, pretty good for this price point, although not uh, uh, better than the Xiaomi Mi 4i, which has a sunlight display and it's pretty smooth as well. The display on the Mi 4i is more vibrant and uh, sharper than what you see on the Ficom Passion 660. So all in all, we would say the display is pretty good on this uh, price point and uh, performs pretty well. Now talking about the software and performance, this runs Android uh, 4 or for KitKat. So that's uh, a kind of an old uh, UI. Uh, you can see that uh, the apps and widgets are arranged. Uh, the UI is uh, mostly like uh, the Android 4 or 2 Jelly Bean and nothing much here. But it does have uh, some good apps uh, included and one of them is uh, the pedometer app. So you can see here you can uh, calculate the distance um, traveled and uh, the steps taken uh, uh, using this and also the calories burned. So that's one good thing about this device. So you have this app and it uh, automatically works. So that's one good thing. Apart from that it does have almost all apps uh, included. There are no blockways included, very minimal app. It also has a barometer app. There is a compass app. You have the uh, FM radio and uh, stuff like that. So uh, all in all, it's a, it's a simple UI. It's uh, nothing much customized, uh, but the notification center is obviously customized. Uh, uh, but it doesn't have the latest software. That's one good one uh, issue with this device. It doesn't have the latest software. Uh, it, uh, although company hasn't mentioned much about the lollipop update, probably we are, we are sure that it might be getting it uh, uh, sometime later. But uh, company hasn't given any any uh, I mean dates on the release of lollipop, so that's uh, another issue. But the overall performance with Android 4 or for KitKat is pretty smooth. Uh, not much lag and uh, multitasking is also pretty decent on this device. You can see that multitasking is implemented in the Android 4 or for KitKat way itself. Not much of customization. So uh, software wise it's a pretty decent uh, looking UI. So Xiaomi's Mi UI 6 has a lot of features uh, included so that's one uh, thing lacking on this device. So, But it does, uh, it does offer a lot of features. Uh, basic features I mean uh, not um, not uh, heavy customizations included but it does have uh, basic features included and um, uh, the performance side it's pretty performing UI no lag or issues the gaming performance also is again decent 
uh, it was able to play most of the games against Snapdragon 615 Octoco Pro so it's not really that best in terms of the gaming experience but overall its uh, gaming experience is mo mostly similar to what we saw on the Xiaomi Mi 4i and uh, the heating was uh, very minimal here so not much of an issue here so again the 2 gigabyte ram and 16 gigabyte internal storage uh, is pretty good you can expand the storage uh, via micro sd card the second sim sim card slot acts as the, um, the micro sd card expansion slot as well so overall software and performance is pretty decent although not the best or class leading in this category it does have decent performance now talking about the camera that's uh, again the 13 megapixel rear camera uh, along with uh, LED flash so you can see the camera interface is uh, uh, pretty featured it you have uh, most of the options included uh, you have uh, different sh uh, shooting modes you have color effects and uh, the features offered on this camera is pretty decent you also have a uh, full HD video recording and um, a flash is also included and uh, the quality of photos looks pretty decent we already uploaded uh, uh, the camera samples and also uh, taken camera samples and also the video samples you can have a look at that so the the photos look uh, pretty decent uh, uh, on this device and uh, uh, the low light abilities are just decent uh, it's a performing camera but again it may not uh, really beat the uh, the Xiaomi's Mi 4i camera that has a pretty good performance as well so all in all we would say this is a decent uh, camera in this price point but not really the best the colors look uh, pretty good and uh, the sharpness levels are also decent but again uh, uh, the overall quality of photos is not really up to the mark of uh, the Xiaomi Mi 4i um, so that's one area again this device uh, lags behind uh, uh, the Xiaomi Mi 4i the video recording is again uh, pretty decent uh, the full HD video recording does have a decent clarity and uh, we would say the overall uh, 13 megapixel camera is uh, a decent performer although not the best in this category so that was the camera performance again the, there is a selfie camera it does produce pretty decent shots uh, for selfies and video calls and you can use that for social sharing now talking about the battery that is one area this device is uh, uh, a poor performer this has just a 2300 milliamp per battery and the battery performance is really poor uh, with 4 GLT you, you might struggle with uh, more than 4-5 hours of battery life on this device so uh, getting uh, a day of battery life is very hard on this device the 2300 milliamp per battery uh, lasts less than a day on normal usage so if you have a heavy usage you might have to carry battery packs or the chargers uh, and charge the device at uh, frequent intervals so that's the battery performance so overall we are pretty disappointed with the capacity of the battery of the phone it's just 2300 milliamp per battery so so we have talked about uh, the camera the software performance and a lot of aspects so the device is priced 10 triple nine so does it make a great value for money at 10 triple nine you would say it's a pretty decently uh, priced device uh, with decent specs decent camera decent display uh, uh, build quality is again uh, good um, it has um, uh, the, the overall design looks pretty good it is pretty lightweight uh, the software is disappointing it has only Android 4 for KitKat and the battery life is also disappointing so when you compare with the Mi 4i Mi 4i is definitely better device even if you pay additional 2k extra now there is K3 note coming up uh, which is priced 999 so that will be a bigger competition for the um, uh, um, the 5 compassion 660 so all in all we would say if you are looking for a decent uh, mid-range phone this is again a uh, uh, good device to buy if you are not really bothered about uh, the battery performance. So that was a detailed uh, review of the Passion 660 from Ficom. So hope you like this video. If you have any queries drop in a comment and we will be glad to help you out with the queries. If you like this video do hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.